doctors and good evening online viewers our today's session and topic about ecg so my dear friends see here ecg what is the full form of ecg here the full form of ecg yes. is cardiogram yes he is absolutely right yes doctor you are absolutely right again electro cardiogram, cardiogram. gram or we can say graphy same thing yeah graph okay so uh, today i am going to teach you how we interpret it the ecg okay firstly i am going to draw a normal ecg our today's theme we are going to know about the normal ecg then after that on our next video i am going to teach you about some arrhythmias so here see the diagram this one is p after that q r then this one is t wave this is p okay i am represent with another color so it's going to be more easier for you to understand this one is p p p develops from this half is right atrium this half is from left atrium when the right atrium and left atrium contracts firstly sinus node sinus node it acts on right atrium then on left atrium right atrium and left atrium then it gives a signal to av node contraction so this process uh, the right half p is by right atrium the left half p is by left atrium and then conduction goes to av so p p represent this one p represent here is atrial depolarization it's known as atrial depolarization d e p o l a polarization this is known as atrial depolarization the p waves and there is atrial repolarization also but on ecg that one is not visible that one is not visible so this one the next q r s wave q r s complex what is do you understand by q r s complex this q r s complex represents the ventricular depolarization this is ventricular b polarization i will explain you what does it mean when we know sinus node then right atrium left atrium makes p wave then av node wave goes then the uh, bundle of his right bundle branch and left bundle branch then purkinje fibers then right ventricle and left ventricle so after av node after av node uh, that goes to the bundle branch b bundle branches then bundle branches to right bundle branch bundle branch and left bundle branch then it goes to the purkinje and then right uh, ventricle and left ventricular depolarization occurs so this is known as the qrs complex that's why and after that there is a formation of t wave t wave is formed here is a ventricular repolarization there is ventricular repolarization ventricular repolarization polarization there is a no defect till here so my dear friends understand and from p beginning of p from this point till the beginning of q this is known as pr interval this is known as pr my dear friends interval and after that qr complex till here till here and st st segment from here till the ending of t wave from the s wave starting so known as pr qrs complex st segment so my dear friend this is known as the normal electrocardiography what was the use of electrocardiography ecg we are going to diagnose various pathologies by the help of ecg this is the primary diagnosis like in case of mi i am going to explain you arrhythmias mi myocardial infarction we can diagnose by the help of ecg and after that we need to confirm with markers and so many further investigations like right bundle branch blocks left bundle branch block same 
like atrial fibrillation, atrial flutter, ventricular tachycardia, ventricular fibrillations, and uh, so more. Avoid uh, Parkinson White syndrome. I will explain you in my further next coming video. Supraventricular tachycardia, my dear friend, PSVT proximal supraventricular tachycardia, PSVT, uh, yeah. So many things I am going to explain in my uh, coming lectures. Uh, my aim to discuss in this uh, topic uh, how to uh, recognize ECG, what is the normal and uh, in coming lectures I am going to explain the pathology also. So see my dear friends, I hope till here you understand very well. First question I am going to ask, how much amount of blood in human body carries my question goes to dr lal singh please five. answer yes 5 liter yes 5 liter a male a healthy male contain 5 liter but it varies maybe in someone four and a half maybe in someone six liter maybe in someone but this is the average one so my next question uh, uh, how much percent of uh, blood total blood of body uh, uh, purify or uh, kidney contains my question goes to dr madhan please answer 20 yeah 20 percent is right the kidney carries a 25 percent of our total blood volume okay how uh, do you think my dear friends in uh, uh, one minute how much our blood purifies how much blood our heart can purify heart can pump in a minute so how we are going to know cardiac output <laughs> cardiac output equals to heart rate into stroke volume okay i am going to explain you i am going to explain in this video how to calculate firstly the heart rate and then we are going to coming on cardiac output so my dear friends now i am going to tell you how to calculate heart rate and what is stroke volume see if this is ecg p wave qrst T wave, then again P wave, then R wave, then P wave, then T wave, then again PQRS, then P wave, T wave. This is so we are going to calculate R R interval. R R interval. If here three large box, three large box here, here three large box two, and all are this rhythm if r r interval is normal if r r distance is normal three box three large boxes maybe four large boxes in all the three leads so uh, we are going to take that one three three large box we are going to divide by 300 so here we are going to find how much the heart rate it's 100 if heart rate is 100 if heart rate is 100 my question goes to dr mla please tell me that uh, heart rate how we are going to pronounce tachycardia yeah tachycardia beat per minute this is known as tachycardia so heart rate normal heart rate includes 60 till uh, 90 yeah but above 90 or above 100 more than 100 it's known as tachycardia less than 60 it's known as bradycardia bradycardia my dear friends bradycardia so try to understand how to calculate if i am giving you example if one box uh, if one rr interval coming continue one rr interval here three boxes here four boxes in coming rr interval their boxes includes like uh, three okay let's take then took all the three plus three it's six and plus four it's equals to ten ten so we are going to take a mean divided by two so here came five in medium no 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 here three so we are going to divide by this in three 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 point three something so we are going to calculate okay i'm going to let's uh, make it very very easy uh, let's think okay another i am going to give a simple example by which you are able to uh, understand if beat rr interval is irregular maybe in uh, like atrial fibrillation and so many things if you think uh, this is four this one is six and uh, this one we took uh, like here boxes are four so four four eight eight equals to six and uh, it's known as 14 now 14 divided by 3 no we think here 5 okay 3 divided by 15 
it's equals to 3 5 are 15 okay so here total 5 is the mean we are going to take here if 5 here 6 here 4 here plus all 5 plus 6 11 11 plus 4 it's 15 15 divided by 3 equals to 5 so 5 we are going to these are the large boxes 5 we are going to divide it by 300 so it's uh, equals to 560 60 hundred is the normal okay another example i am going to give you this is another way okay one another i hope this is so congested not looking good so i am going to explain uh, i am going to wrap this all thing and see my dear friends i am going to explain very easily how to calculate the heart rate very easy see if our heart rate we are going to see like rr interval from till here till here till here here only one box here two box here three box so 1 plus 2 equals to 3, 3 plus uh, uh, 3, uh, 1, 2 is 3 and 3 is uh, 6. So 6, total 6 number, how many values we took? 3. So 3 we are going to take here and we are going to divide. So 2 large boxes, if 2 large boxes, then we are going to divide it by 300. 300, these are the RR intervals, RR intervals, RR, RR. There is the large box number, 300 divided by 2. So here heart rate is 1500 my dear friend, 150, 150 beat per minute and another also, if we are going, these are the large box, in one large box there is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, these are the 5, 5 values in large box from here, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, if we took a small box, so small box like we took at uh, like five five small boxes so if we are going to take five small boxes we are going to divide by 1500 1500 if a small box if large box we are going to divide by 300 rr interval if a small box we are going to divide by five so here if only one box so here answer is 150 divided by five now 150 is the uh, heart rate came here 300 My, uh, mathematics sometimes four but not so much 5 into 15 is 3 and 2 zeros remaining here. If there is 2 box and we are going to calculate the smaller one, if 2 box here and we are going to do smaller numbers, so smaller number is 10, so we are going to divide it by 10. 10 if we are going to 10, 10, 1, 10 and then 50 is 150. Okay my dear friends, I hope it's clear, it's clear for you. Claro for you. And uh, I try my best here to explain you. If you have any doubts, please ask me ask me frankly so now i explain so many things and it's a time i'm going to explain you some more important things about uh, the ecg about the electrodes total 12 leads 12 leads so i'm going to explain you like uh, ra ra represent right arm right arm we took some ele ecg electrode here in the right arm see here by this way right arm okay and uh, then left arm another electrode here left arm in ecg left arm uh, all electrodes there are visible. zero in earlier we are seeing some colors like red color in the right arm so many things black color in the right leg okay but now uh, everything is written in such a manner so we have to understand then l uh, left leg if left leg it's written like left leg ll if uh, right rl means right leg right leg rt i am representing here in such a way and another also like v1 v2 and v3 like v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 and v6 see uh, if you have ever seen ecg like electrodes like a smaller this one, put here, 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 here. I am going to explain you the signs. Okay, V1, V1 we are going to put on fourth intercostal space C. This is clavicle, after that ribs and between the ribs there is space. So we are going to uh, take a fourth intercostal space. Understand, uh, space between the ribs. So fourth intercostal space we are going to put v1 fourth intercostal space right side of sternum here is sternum here is manubrium then sternum then xiphoid process so sternum 
fourth intercostal space right sided we have to put the v1 lead and it is between the uh, rib number 4th and rib number 5 okay i hope till here understand right sided sternum s t e r n u m my dear friends please be concentrated here and now the v2 v2 is also on fourth intercostal space same same intercostal space but the left side of sternum left side sternum this side one is there here another is here on fourth intercostal space v1 v2 on fourth intercostal space rib number 4th and between the rib number 5 okay then v3 v3 we are going to place uh, between v2 and v4 leads so now it's very important to understand v4 we are going to put in v4 we are going to put a uh, space between uh fifth intercostal space fifth intercostal space so v3 we are going to put nearly here little bit between v2 and v4 and v4 we are going to put here why it's a mid clavicular line v4 in mid clavicular line clavicular i hope my dear friends if you ever done ecg by your own you can see and you can understand it's very necessary sometimes i saw so many people they don't know where they are putting but they have lot of experience and they are putting with the help of their experience and they that time this is also correct i saw but we have to know mid clavicular region okay v4 then v5 also the fifth <coughs> intercostal space but where it's the anterior this one is anterior means outside outside anterior axillary and between this is mid axillary and behind it posterior axillary side so on fifth v5 we are going to put on anterior axillary line fifth intercostal space and v6 in the also the fifth intercostal space not a great deal not a great issue in a mid axillary line okay i hope now you understand the concept of ecg ecg concept you understand so i am going to make a one man diagram and you will he is in a line position man line position is arms here this is right arm this is left arm here it is right leg here it is left leg so understand here we are going to right arm ra here we are going to put la electrode here we are going to uh, rl right leg electrode here we are going to put left leg electrode and where the v1 and v2 are heart located here like see rib number i will explain you in a black pen okay rib number clavical forgot rib number 1 uh thing rib number 1 rib number 2 rib number 3 rib number 4 rib number 5 rib number 6 so we are going to put the uh, intercostal space uh, fourth intercostal space so first intercostal second intercostal third fourth so from sternum here if we see the sternum here uh for for this one for this one so here we are going to white green i am going to show you here v1 fourth intercostal space here v2 right side of sternum and uh, here uh, v3 between v4 v5 and uh, here we are going to put uh, v4 mid clavicular region and then uh, horizontally uh, v5 and v6 mid axillary and anterior axillary i hope till here you have understand it very well so my dear friends please try to understand i really my uh, i really want to explain you and to make you very easy this lecture because i saw so many videos but uh, that's are not clear concept some videos uh, so my dear friends please uh, i try my best to make it very easy for you and uh, uh, this video will help you and another also i am going to explain the leads lead number 1 lead number 2 avl avr v1 v2 v3 on ecg we are going to see so how it was the meaning what was the meaning of these like uh, lead number i am going to explain you like we have to know inferior lead inferior lead like septal lead 
on the market is not working good another i am going to use like anterior lead i am going to explain you why i am going to teach you this like lateral lead in further videos you have to know the meaning by inferior lead if we are going to say yes am i in a inferior lead so how we are going to know this is inferior then septal lead we are going to say septal defect here anterior lead am i anterior lead ischemia so how to know by the help of some defects okay like uh, inferior lead it includes second third and avf this is written on ecg septal lead include v1 and v2 anterior lead v3 v4 lateral lead v5 v6 and avl and first one lead is remaining so mm, this and i am going to uh, so remember this inferior lead second third and avf septal is v1 v2 lateral anterior is v3 v4 lateral is v5 v6 avl and one so please try to remember and finally i am going to explain you the one trick one trick trick that will help you this is the normal ecg normal ecg i am going to explain uh, one thing more what we are going to watch here if one large box if one large box formula so one large box 300 divided by 1 one large box is plus 5 small boxes if five small boxes divided by 1500 so answer here is 300 had be here 300 divided by 1 is 300 same so trick run large box 300 had be two large boxes 150 had be how then two large box include 10 small boxes like 10 divided by 1500 answer is 150 here 300 divided by 2 answer is 150 so my dear friends it's very very easy task no need to be worry and what else we are going to watch on normal ecg if we see what we are going to represent in front of our teachers or in front of exam how to explain if i explain in my video like this is p this is q this is r this is s this is t so okay continue i am going to continue or another how to write okay another i am going to continue further see from here we start so in ecg we see firstly our target is p if p is present that means p present p present we are going to write on ecg like sinus sinus ecg first thing is very important sinus if this is r this is r if r r interval their distance between both r r is same then regular if r r interval same distance like three boxes in each three large boxes in each that means regular rhythm ecg we are going to sinus sinus means p present if sinus absent means non sinus and regular rhythm so here it is known as regular rhythm and we can see the t waves if there is any difficulty then we are going to calculate p r interval p from here till the q starts here then p r interval we are going to take divided by uh, 0.04 if i am going to explain you in some further videos also like p r interval from here there is a uh, distance between uh p r interval this is not a p this is a t outer q r s so p is here this one is p wave so p q p r interval p r interval we are going to if we see only four small boxes four small boxes multiplied by 0.04 if the ecg speed is 0.25 uh, 25 mm per second then we are going to take 0.04 in this video so here pr interval we are going to calculate is 0.16 okay my dear friends and the qrs complex we are going to see narrow or wide in ecg we have to write everything and this is normal sinus rhythm so ecg we are going to say this is normal sinus rhythm if there is some defect we have to conclude the diagnosis 
where is the defect but in my next coming videos i am going to explain everything so my dear friends i hope you understand this video how to interpret it ecg and why we use the ecg to identify the uh, mi acute onset and ischemia pulmonary embolism and so many things uh, we are able to identify ecg but we need further investigation to confirm the diagnosis but this is the primary investigation to not to forgot ecg if some patient will came uh, in uh, opd uh, or in a emergency if you have a, a duty if he complained a chest pain don't think about acidicity yes it is also a cause of acidicity sometime bone pain sometime neurological disorder sometimes some psychiatric illness so many things but firstly in all the situation my dear friends my suggestion don't forgot the ecg please do ecg do ecg and if you find any kind of mistake any kind of arrhythmia so please try to correct it and call triple line and ambulance and send to the emergency and you can take the primary management that time if sinus rhythm no need to worry no need to worry okay my dear friends have a good day thank you thank you my dear friends goodbye